start this call off. Today is 3-2. We jokingly call these the 1-2-3-2 calls, and this is the third Tuesday in December. It is now 4 o'clock Mountain Time on December the 16th, and my name is Dave Webb. I'm honored to be with you and join you on this call to talk about Get Growing. We're going to grow our businesses today. We're sharing information about Today, interestingly, the business is going to grow from a discussion on products. We're excited to talk with Dr. Templeman. He's got some exciting new news and uh, some teasing of some news. The best kind of news is news that isn't quite there yet, isn't it? We, we used to call it, in another industry, we called it vaporware. It doesn't exist yet, but we're talking about it because it is right around the corner. So Fred will join us in a minute. But to start things off, I figure there's no better way than to celebrate the awesome zangoness of what just happened in the Caribbean. And that's why we bring in Gordon Morton. Gordon, how are you? I'm very well, Dave. It, my voice doesn't know it, but I, I am very well. I um, I had a wonderful time in the last week on our Zela One Cruise. I did... I did lose my voice. It, was it from the, all the partying and the celebrating that was going on? Well, I, some would say it's probably an answer to a Christmas miracle for my, my <laughs> wife and family. <laughs> that has to be quiet for a few days. Yeah. Um, but we, it was fantastic. And for those of I heard a few of you ring on, in uh, the Dagoosans and whatnot that were on the, the cruise, but we spent one wonderful week on the Zalo One cruise, and we had attendees from all over the world. We had Japanese and Taiwanese and Russians and, and uh, friends from Mexico and here in the United States and Canada and went to Fort Lauderdale and Puerto Rico and, and uh, St. Martin. And Dave, as many of you know that are listening to the sound of my voice, they know that I, I, I grew up in Canada. We have long, cold Canadian winters. So they instilled in me an absolute love of warm places near the ocean. In December's December. a bad word for you guys, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> anyway, we had, um, we had a wonderful time and I... I I had heard a quote once that a good vacation is having nothing to do and all day to do it. We had <laughs> several wonderful days of doing that. Um, so uh, what a what a great time for those of you who are on the cruise with me. I, I give you a hug over the phone here. And, Gordon, how much do you think you would be comfortable sharing about the future and Zango and cruises? Oh well, Dave, I'm I'm I don't have a, I don't know the future, but I can tell you that if I were a betting man, I would bet that our future includes some tropical destinations and uh, some more incentive trips. Very well put. We are excited for that. That's that's something to look forward to. And and from anyone who's been at any Zango event, you throw into the factor Caribbean sun and unlimited food and. All the Zango friends and family, my goodness, that must have been a phenomenal experience. It, it was really great. The, um, I, growing up with an Italian mom, she was on a cruise, by the way, uh, there's a fun phrase in Italian, and it's dolce fa niente, which is the beautifulness of, of nothing, the sweetness of doing nothing. And there was many moments like that. There were many moments of eating as well and, <laughs> and doing stuff. We had excursions, and, and um, I, I got to share a, a great day with the de Guzmans and our friends from Japan, uh, swimming with dolphins. Wow. And, uh, but many great moments of, of, of just relaxing. Gordon, I'm, I'm going to thank you for that. And, and especially, now Gordon, as you already know, is just one handsome devil of a guy. Uh, but he comes back with a little bit of sun in December. And those of us less solarly inclined, <laughs> uh, I, I, can't, I can't dislike you, Gordon, because you're such a great friend. But darn you. And you and your skin tone. You look fantastic. Everybody that I've seen coming back from the cruise has just a glow about them. I know, obviously, part of it is the sun, but it's also the experience. Well, I, I also have to put in, Dave, um, uh, not to rub salt in the wounds, but we did have great weather every day. I don't think we had a, a, a stormy day other than the, the mild little, you know, you get those tropical five-minute right. showers or something like that. But we had great weather the whole time. Well, now get over it because you're back here in yeah. Utah. I'm teasing. We're so happy that people got to participate in that. But we want to jump into some of the business building info right now. We have an update on some of the business building going on. The, triplic the triplication sensation is rolling into its fourth month now after Gordon had the – it was like a, just a bolt of lightning that came to you, and you, you shared that with us in September. And we've rolled through it. We've had some great comments and great activity on that. By the way, this is sponsoring any three in a month, and you are participating in the triplication sensation. We've got a great pin. It's nice and bold. It stands out and says, I've sponsored three in a month. We have 498 qualifiers so far. Wow. We're going to break 500 maybe by the end of this call. 
So I don't know if you that just news just came to me today. Dave, that I'm happy to share that with you. I, I have to put one little um, fun moment in as well. We had all kinds of recognition moments and dinner time discussions, but I also got to pin uh, a few folks for their triple awesome. challenge um, uh, accomplishments on the boat. Um, I, I do have to say. Um, Brenda Cook, who may be on the line here, I, she has not one, but two, and is going on her third triplicate challenge. Awesome. She is two-thirds of the way there in December. She told me by the time she got off the boat, she probably would have her third for December. So I, I think Linda Frank is, is maybe even ahead of that. She has her third. She is close to her fourth month. Is wow. that awesome? Fantastic. Well, let me, since we're sprinkling names out right now, I want to throw out Linda Frank's name as one of the seven earners of a grand holiday season. You remember we launched, if you can, sp- anyone 20K and under, obviously yeah. we're, we're focusing on that growth group. 20Ks and under who build three personally sponsored 1Ks. Linda did it. You may have seen on Facebook when she posted that picture of her two checks. Mm. She had her $100 check and her $1,000 check because she is one of the first 10. Now, we're counting down because we have only 10 spots to achieve the holiday, the grand holiday season. Seven spots are taken. Wow. Seven have accomplished that already. Let me rattle through the next Seven additional quick. grant into the, the, the economy. Correct. Oh, fantastic. Beautiful. Linda Frank, Joel Francis from Trinidad, Don Cole from USA, Ira Sanina from USA, and uh, curious side note, one of those 5Ks she helped has already gone 5 or one of those 1Ks has already gone 5K. Wow. Since we started the promotion. Uh, Kyung Hee Lim from USA and Helen Lee from USA, and one of my favorite names to say, Don Ragunanen from Trinidad. And I think you, you have to say he is a Trinbagonian. Mm. So Don Ragunan right. and the Trinbagonian, also a celebrator of the holiday grant. News has just flashed across my, my mind, Gordon, thanks to Adam, who's <laughs> right over there. We have confirmation from Brenda Cook, three months down. Congrats. She did it. She got her third one already, like you said. She probably walked off the boat, locked in on her third one, and, and earned that. Uh, now, the holiday hundreds, we talked about the $100 bill or the $100 check that uh, Linda and others have earned. 69 people have earned that. Now, to get the holiday hundreds again, uh, that is signing people up with an initial order of 100. Any three of those gets you $100 extra in addition to Power Start, Unilevel, customer, I mean, rattle them all off. We're just finding ways to give people more holiday spending money. So uh, we're even talking about extending that by a month. I want to be careful how much I say right now. We had said this was going to be an October, November, December promo. People have bills coming up after December. When do those bills hit? Usually about mid-January. When Usually mid-January. Right, what right, if we right, make right. that available? We'll do one more month. We'll offer that one more time to help people pay off some bills. Excellent. Done. All right. So I want to go right now. Uh, we have a couple of things we'll close with at the end of this, but I want to go to Dr. Templeman, who is joining us on the line. Fred, are you there? I am. Can you hear me? Yes, we can. You sound fantastic. You also sound tan. I'm teasing. I saw Fred this morning. <laughs> He's come back from a little bit in Thailand, and he is he does have the healthy glow about him. But, Fred, we want to talk about three products right now. This is why a lot of people have come into the call. Uh, the business of products. We're associating those two. Um, they are inextricably linked with Zango. We have the world's greatest compensation plan because we have the world's greatest products because we have the world's greatest compensation plan. So, Fred, let's first talk about Zango Juice. And, again, as cautiously as you dare, because we want to be careful about sharing too much information, give us some of the update on where we stand in Zango Research, Mango Steam Juice Research. Well, um when you take a look at the, uh, let's just look at PubMed rather than looking at some of the other databases for uh, the research that's going on. We've got uh, scientists in over 20 countries, universities in over 20 countries now, researching the mangosteen world, researched it recently, and uh, this is spreading. It's spreading very, very rapidly. And I would say, without a doubt, that this could not have been possible if the mangosteen was not popularized the way it was around the world by Zango as a commercial product. There's just no way that in a couple of hundred years of people knowing about it locally and in the areas where it's grown, that it could have left borders and been in Russia and been around the world the way it is now with scientists interested in it. And remember, the scientists only get interested when they start seeing people have results that the doctors can't explain, then they go looking for the reason behind it. Yeah, yeah, that's a great point. And, and Fred, when you talk about research and, have, and the, the, the scientific investigations that go on, talk about what the impact is 
of science. Why is science looking at mangosteen? What is it that interests them, and then what would be their purpose in pursuing research on mangosteen? Okay, well, let's, let's take a look at the misused term of superfruit. Now, this was a term coined by Dr. Morton uh, in 2004 and picked up by so many other things that entered the botanical market saying that they were superfruits. But no scientists are interested in them. And after a little bump and a few papers, in, ev in every case, they have moved on into obscurity. And what keeps the activity going is the fact that the scientific research which is done turns out to have positive results, and it's a positive feedback cycle, and more breeds more. Now, when you have a negative feedback cycle, you drift out of the picture, the way many of these other botanicals have. But the mangosteen has not drifted out of the picture. In fact, what is driving this research is the desire to have a drug. And in Japan, there already is a prodrug, which is out there and being used in research and also in therapeutics. And five other countries, five countries in total, sorry, four plus Japan, have already synthesized the key ingredients in the mangosteen that are not available in any other thing, any other supplement called xanthones. And they're doing this because they want to make drugs out of it. Well, if something doesn't work in its natural state, you don't try and make a drug out of it. And in this particular case, the mango scheme is inspiring enthusiastic scientific research in large numbers of universities in order to be able to get them uh, so where they're, you know, they're looking for a drug. And there will be drugs. I predict that within the period of the requirements for approval and testing that there will be at least four drugs in three different categories that are derived from the mangosteen. And if I were a Zango distributor, Zango juice drinker, consumer, lover like I am, how, would, uh, how, how does that information affect me? What should I be thinking about as, that, uh, as those things come to pass? Well, what is the mangosteen eventually in a drug? Well, it becomes the mangosteen slightly adulterated by the side chains that the synthesizers have put on it. And so you now have something magnificent that has side effects and problems. So the mangosteen in its pure form, and uh, I would argue with anyone that mangosteen is in its purest form in Zango. So in Zango, you have all of the benefits, and you don't have any of the eventual defects that will come from drugs being out there. Beautiful. And that, that really is the basis. Like you say, there's no interest if it's not working. There's no interest if there's a negative feedback loop, but because people are having positive results, it leads to more research, and then the research, as it has positive results, leads to more research and more studies, and like you say, the synthesization, synthesization, the faking, I'm going to call it the faking of a natural... <laughs> For the sake of profit, yes. and, and here we are with something that, with a 12-year history of Zango juice, and the Zango company, that background and that support is unprecedented. People are, are able to get access to the phenomenon that is xanthones in the specific, like you say, the purest possible form of that fruit, and here it is available for us at a really reasonable price with some incredible benefits attached to it. Yeah, the juice itself, Dave, is uh, bringing about results in so many things. Now, we can't make any claims with regard to disease because simply the kind of research that is required to do that is too costly and not necessary as long as you can show results. And anybody who's ever had anything that ends in ITIS has probably derived benefit. You make a great point. You were talking about that earlier today. Talk a little bit about what that ITIS really stands for. How does that associate with everyone listening in? Well, when you look at the over 500 papers that are listed on PubMed, the majority of them have to do with serious illness and disease and something we can't even say, the big C, and that, that's what most of the research is about. However, everything else is lumped into an area where the largest single other category is inflammation. And inflammation is, in a, in a chronic sense, inflammation is the underpinning of so many chronic illnesses that they end up having ITIS at the end of them. So arthritis, any kind of ITIS, gastritis, any kind of ITIS, uh, that myositis, they're all there. When you have ITIS, that simply means inflammation is the problem. 
and we, we've had people report great results uh, with those specific things. So we're excited that it's still available through Zango and that the juice in its, uh, like you say, the unadulterated form, the purest form, and the most widely available, and frankly the best tasting. I'll go ahead and say it. I'm, I'm biased, and people know that. But it really it is the greatest possible answer right now. And I, I, I get excited every time I take it because not only does it taste good, and I've been drinking it now myself for 10 years, but I still enjoy it. I look forward to my Zango juice. We, we fight if it's at the end of the bottle at home. Have you brought back more Zango juice from work? Then you don't get it, dear. That's what I hear from my sweet wife. So we want to make sure that that stays available. Uh, Fred, uh, I appreciate that insight on Zango juice. Now let's jump over really quickly. Talk about Limitless for a second. We've got a big uh, uh, impetus on Limitless, and certainly just in pop culture, there are references to things around energy drinks and all the things that people think they need so that they can have energy or focus. Let's talk about Zango's offering with something we call Limitless. Well, I needed to be uh, sharp today to be able to come on and do this call, recall things. And so I took a limitless about a half an hour ago. The reason I did that is because I'm, by the way, I'm sitting in a chair. So I want to make this point. I am not up jumping in a gym. I'm not running on a treadmill. I'm not climbing bars. What I'm doing is sitting in a chair, very animated, with mental acuity that I wouldn't have had if I hadn't had the limitless a half an hour ago. And I want to point out that I believe firmly that the impact of limitless is equally great on mental acuity, memory, and recall as it is in the body when we head to the gym. When you look at the seven ingredients that are in there, gotu cola, gaba, panets, ginseng, the green tea, these are all things that have very important, along with the mangosteen, that have very important contributions to make with the way your mind works and how much more nimble you are when you're actually getting an assist that doesn't just help your muscles through the adrenal glands, but also picks up everything else. And the interesting thing, and we've done this before, pointing out the uh, things that aren't in the product that are harmful, this is done safely. So you've got yourself a boost. You have it for both lift of mind and body, and you do it safely. That, that's a, a great point to bring up. A lot of what we've talked about in the early stages of Limitless, and it's been out a couple of years now. I think we're coming up on two years. But a lot of the attention that it gets, especially on social media or some of our events or some of uh, uh, things that you see, whether it's our posting it or, or distributors and, and uh, consumers posting about it, they're talking about the results they get from a physical standpoint. They're saying, I went to the gym, I was able to max out my, my weight, or I got higher reps, or I was able to, uh, to have more endurance, or I was, I was able to accomplish more, like you say, from a physical standpoint. But we're talking now about the what you have mentioned, and you are the medical professional here. This is not Dave Webb making a, a, a scarce marketing claim. We're talking about the equal opportunity for the mental acuity to have a benefit there, and that, that's fascinating. Well, anybody who wants to, to run off to Wikipedia or some other source for information and look up GoToCola, look up GABA, look up Panax Ginseng, look up Mangosteen, and you'll see that there is a serious impact there on mental processes as well as physical endurance. And, you know, the other day I went to my son's house, and sometimes it's kind of hard to get these younger people to pay attention to the arrival of their parents, but he was playing a video game. And I, I spoke to him, and he didn't, he just waved me off with his hand and then got back immediately to the keyboard because he was concentrating on something. And uh, I, I could have given him a limitless, and he could probably have done better. As a matter of fact, when, when I think about gaming, it's probably the absolutely perfect way to test whether limitless will make a difference for you because there's finger dexterity. It certainly isn't weightlifting, but it's finger dexterity, so there's the physical aspect, and it certainly is mental acuity. And even more interesting, you can score yourself. You can actually compete against yourself or you can compete against others, but you can see your performance improve. So I think that... Uh, you know, it, it really is something that at this time of year, hello, students who are out there writing their finals, it's probably extremely important for people to use legitimate steps up when it comes to performance, whether you're a, you know, a student or you're a soccer mom or you're an executive who's got a presentation. Pick up a little bit of a lift and do it better. 
That, that's a great way to put it. I appreciate it. I'm, it's funny you talk about the, the gaming aspect. We have a gentleman who has been with our MB30 movement, and uh, he's got some success with the product and with the experience and with the business. Interestingly, it is through his online gaming activity that he has sponsored three competitors within the last few weeks. <laughs> I mean, he's like talking to the guys, no, I feel great, I'm doing, you know, you have your chats while you're doing the game. I don't know if it's, if it's a killing game, a hunting, a seeking, a, a revolutionary war hero, a French revolution thing. I don't know what the whole thing is. I've got kids myself, and I, I, I cannot pretend to comprehend all that they can process on a screen and then be typing and texting and chatting at the same time. But this kid, I'm going to call him a kid because I'm 50, and I get to say that about anyone who is not 50. This kid went out and in the process of gaming, with the headset on, watching the big screen, doing whatever you do, teaming up, pairing, comparing, whatever it is, has sponsored three new Limitless customers because of his experience while gaming. And I bet he watched his scores go up and he thought, I don't know if he thought this, but he he could have said, my mental acuity is off the charts. And now I have some charts that can tell me where my mental acuity is. So I love that. Okay, Fred, let's wrap up the product section. Give us a quick update on on Zalo Ageless, if you will. Okay, well, we're in a good position to do a, a, a you know a, an important review on Zalo Ages because it's been out for a while. Now, in the anti-aging category, there are literally dozens of products out there, and people spend their money sometimes when they see buzzwords, and that's not where the proof is. The proof is really in the pudding. And when the, the Zalo H list first came on the market, I was afraid that perhaps most people would not experience an immediate benefit. Now, that didn't turn out to be true, and most people, like I do, get a buzz within about 40 minutes of taking, an actual tingling in the, in the periphery that is an indication of vasodilatation and the effects of some of the ingredients that are in there. But the ingredients that were chosen for the Zalo Ageless were chosen not because of any kind of immediate effect, but the long-term effects that would, integ- that would interfere with the aging process in a beneficial way. Now, the product itself was formulated looking at the three major theories of aging, and there are a number of them out there, but it was largely the mitochondrial theory of aging. Anybody wants to look that up and go out and find out about mitochondria, which are the little subcellular organelles that uh, convert food to energy and which disappear with age and become less efficient with age. And this was conceived in order to work at the cellular level to help with the rejuvenation and the sparing from damage of the mitochondria. And the ingredients in it are really, really like a hit list of tremendous uh, herbal products. We've got the mango steam there. We already talked about that. But we have something called Selegion, which is a stalwart of the Ayurvedic medical tradition and was called actually a panacea because it covers the whole spectrum. And the interesting thing about it is like with the mangosteen 12 years ago when there wasn't much known about it, as people used it and got better, the scientists became interested and they found out that what they were testing from the traditional medical tradition was coming, was, was being demonstrated in reality in the clinical changes that people were having. Well, that's what's happening with this legion. Every time that they have tested it to see if it would do what it says, it does. And we also have lychee polyphenols. Now, these have been rendered about 400 times more uh, effective in terms of bioavailability than they were in their unchanged form. We've got leucine, which is the amino acid, which is the rate-limiting factor on how muscle is preserved, made, and repaired. We have uh, got GABA, and again, I talked about GABA uh, in Limitless, but GABA is also extremely important because it's a major neurotransmitter, and these are things which decline with age, and so keeping up an exogenous source of GABA seems to make all the sense in the world to me. We had grape seed and grape skin extracts, and they've got a whole story cardiovascularly and otherwise about them. We have aloe vera. We've got Tributus terrestris, which is one of the nicest adaptogens out there on the market because it has virtually no side effects and works at raising the levels of things that need to come up and lowering the levels of things that come down. And then we have beetroot, which is the greatest natural uh, vegetable source for nitric oxide, which is the most important messenger molecule in the body and the best vasodilator that we know of. So what does this mean? Well, after three months, six months, nine months, and getting close to 12 months, I'm getting uh, 
emails and messages from people who've been using this faithfully. Now, it's got to be used the way it's properly directed as being used. But they're coming to me in their emails and saying, hey, yes, look at my blood results. Look what's been happening with my cholesterol. It's better than it's ever been. My doctor is surprised. Guess what, Dr. Templeman? They announced it to me uh, as the good news that it truly is. And I would say this. When you work hard for your money, and I assume that we all do, don't go out and spend it where you're spending it on the on the benefits of a recipe rather than on the pudding that follows the recipe. We're now to a point where we have results that show that the proper use of this supplement, supplement will make a big difference in people's ability to age gracefully and in health. Wow. Beautifully said. And I realized that while you were rattling off your statements about mitochondria and bioavailability, I was nodding like I knew what you were talking about. And I think Gordon looked over at me like, what, what, why do you think you know what you're talking No, but we appreciate it. Fred, thank you for putting that in a way that we can easily comprehend it and certainly appreciate it because it is a fantastic set of products. And again, this is, the, this is just the beginning on two of these three things. And even at Zango Juice, when you talk about the 12-year history, in the long-term sense, it really is still the beginning of that product as well. That's correct. Thank you to Fred Templeman. We'll let him go now. Uh, he's got, you know, he's got all three and a half hours worth of energy left that he has to utilize in some way. So thanks to you, Fred, for joining us and for your, your expertise and for uh, the, the, the great and steady way that you provide information about Zango's incredible products. Gordon, I want to close out with a couple of pieces of news, and then I'll throw it to you for our, our closing thought, if that's okay. Fully branded Zalo Go Bars. The pre-sale starts today. We will ship these the week of January 5th, still a couple of weeks away, but the fully branded, the real actual ones, not the pre-launch version, you can start to buy those now. In fact, if you go to Zango.com, uh, you will see one of the clickable buttons there that says the Zalo Go Bar is available. A great deal is on right now. We have them available in 12 packs. Uh, now, at my house, I have to get two because we are, we are not a sharing family. We're very selfish with our Zango products at home. But the 12 bars per pack, we have five of those pack and the five of those boxes in a pack. The sixth box is free, $150 at a 100 PV offering. And again, that will be available in the pre-sale launch uh, through the end of December. So we've got about two weeks left, just a little over two weeks left to buy five and get one free. So that's a total of 72 bars for $150. That is a phenomenal deal. It's a meal replacement bar. It is a tasty treat. Uh, we've got some phenomenal research behind it. We'll have more information on that coming up. As always, check Zango's social media presence. Check MXO. Uh, call one eight seven seven go zango They'll always have all the most current information. Again, the Zalo Go Bars, five boxes for $150. We'll send you a sixth box free with 100 PV. Also, we've got some great news. We launched last month, I think. It was the last, the last call. We talked about the Network Marketing Business Journal. Gordon introduced that. We have that available coming soon. That will be shipping in January for $116 plus tax. You get 200 reprints. Now, these are the glossy, really slick-looking things that are just no-brainers to hand out to any prized contact. They're great for seat drops. They're great for an introduction to someone. This is a third-party validation of what everything we've been saying about Zango for 12-plus years. For $116, you get 200 of those reprints, plus the NMBJ Network Marketing Business Journal will send 50 of their original publications. That's the full newsprint. It's a little different quality because they're, they're printing in such a volume. 50 of those will go to a special leads list that Network Marketing Business Journal has, and then we will share those leads with the purchasers of that pack, 50 of them. Now, these are going to be administered through Kelly, through Zango, so it's all our information administered by us, but these are qualified leads, something they call double opt-in. I don't know if that means they had to say yes twice or yes really or yes, I'm serious, but they said, yes, I'm interested in network marketing, and I believe, yes, someone is welcome to contact me about it. That's how I comprehend what a, a double opt-in uh, status would be. So again, for $116, you get 250 communications. 200 come to you, 50 go to the people already on their list, and then you get 50 people's 
contact information to follow up with them and see if they would like to learn more about Zango, Zalo, the products, the compensation. We are really excited about this, including some ad space in the magazine, uh, back page of the reprint, really, really fun stuff. Now, we've got a special offer for the people purchasing, too. A few orders have already come in. We just announced this a little bit ago. From among the first 50 orders that we take for the Network Marketing Business Journal, from among the first 50, we will choose at random three winners will double their order. You're going to pay just once for the 200 plus the 50. We're going to add another 250 leads, just like that, for three extra people, three lucky people. We're excited for you. Congratulations. Uh, what else? Anything else? Yes, the one-two call. I don't dare to presume that, that Gordon Morton will join us again, but you know it's going to be somebody awesome. If it's not Gordon, it's, it's Gordon 1A. It's the, it's the equivalent founder board member. Maybe we'll even bring in some, uh, some field leaders for this call. That is on Tuesday, January 6th at 4 p.m. Mountain Time. Uh, Gordon, give us a little closeout, if you will. You bet, Dave. And I'm just going to cap on one thing that Dave was saying about the, the Go Bars. Anybody who went to our website so yeah, can see a picture of the, the new Go Bars. My wife gave me one word testimonial that I needed to go and tell the product development team here. She said, they're tremendous, was the word that she used. They are they are tremendous. And I will tell you a dirty, dark secret about the Morton family is that there is a thing that happens if we don't have anything to eat mid-afternoon, and it's a blood sugar level drop, and we can be crotchety. Um, my, my dad started that. I, my mom, not so much, but Joe and myself. And so in... I, I put on my website just now, my Facebook page, anybody who just saw it, uh, I have used the quote, um, during this holiday season, uh, be prepared to be inspired. And this is a great way to kick off the new year. As Dave talked about, the, the reprints the, um, in, in uh, Network, uh, Network Marketing Business Journal and, and the fact that we've got um, those reprints going out all over, that combined with a uh, limited time offer, Solution to some of the some of the dietary mis, missteps we may make over the next couple of weeks. Uh, this is coming from a man who just got off a cruise ship. <laughs> forgivable. Well. It's already started. Those missteps are forgivable. It's, 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 that started a week ago. And um, so, those of you who haven't clicked and, and checked out the little blurb on the uh, Go Bars, by all means, do so. And um, thank you, Dave, for inviting me to participate thank you, today. Gordon. Thank you on the grander scale, Gordon. Thanks to you and your partners for this endeavor that is Zango and Zalo that is worldwide. We thank you. We wish everybody a fantastic holiday season. We're closing out 2014 with a bang. It is going to be an awesome 2015. We look forward to talking with you and your new recruits coming up on January 6th. Have a phenomenal evening, a great week, and a terrific holiday. Thanks, everybody. Love you all.